Hello everyone. Uh, for some reason, Chess.com seems to have released a series of billionaire bots. Don't know why. Um, Baron Wuffett, Biff Jesus, Zuck Muckerberg, and these all kind of cyborg Milan Husk, and Gil Bates. Here's the highest rated one at 1500. Let's have a go and see how far we get. So, billionaire bot speed run. Off we go, right. So we've got Baron Wuffett, and we have a Sicilian. Okay then, Wing Gambit. Okay, I will take and draw his pawn away from the center. Uh, we'll take again, why not? And I'll take again. Okay, this is just a blunder fest bot, by the look of things. All right, um, I'd like to defend this. I, I can probably afford to block my bishop in. Um, having said that, it's no guarantee he'll take. Um, but let's defend with the knight. Uh, always develop if you can. Achieve what you want to do with development. Okay, d4 now comes with a discovered attack on the queen. Happy with that. And I'll pick up a queen. Okay, so there we go. And let's develop again with tempo on the bishop. Are you gonna spot it? Yeah, well, kind of. So he's, he's pinned the attacker, which is a good move. So I'll break the pin, I'm getting ready to castle. I'll capture this free bishop. And I'll castle. Always important to be principled, even when you're miles in front. Okay, so what's the best move? I kind of like the idea of coming in here or here with check, forcing the king to move. Well, there's no dark square bishop, so I'd like to sneak my queen in on the dark squares, maybe. Um, or I could just push on in the centre. Opponent's still not castled. And he's volunteered to uh, give up castling rights and given up a knight at the same time. This is not the most challenging game I've ever played. But it kind of fits my uh, mental state today. I'm a bit, a bit on the tired side. Okay, let's trade off, just trade off. We're up 16 materials, so why the heck? Okay, I want to get the queen off the back rank. This looks like a good square, supported by the knight. Let's line up a rook with a king, generally a good idea. Okay, you, oh, he's decided to attack. Well, well, well. I'm gonna come here, because it comes with a sneaky attack against that rook, which he's, oh. He's woken up Baron Wuffett, apparently. Let's uh, occupy this open file next to the king. Let's try and trade knights. Let's have a free knight. Uh, I'd like to take here, but I can't. I can if I do this. Then I can ca capture that for free because it comes with a discover A. Discover A. Uh-oh. Okay, let's save the knight, put it on a defended square in the centre of the board. Right now I'll just kind of take here, so maybe here, here, something like that. Okay, this is playable. Not many squares left. And let's pin the rook. And let's win the rook, and it's going to be checkmate very quickly. And I think that's it, isn't it? Whee! Excellent. Well, that was a warm-up. E4. Bef, Biff Jesus now. Okay, I'm a vienna in you. I'm a Vienna Gambit you. This is 1,000 rated bot. And played the best move. D5. Well, well, well. With a Paulson attack. Okay, I can win a pawn here. Probably should. Um... I could pin this knight as well. Comes with, hang on, let's just think. Takes, 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 I win a pawn. Kind of centralized queen, but then I'm also enabling my knight to get out into play, so. Okay, now we can't take this right now. I can develop this knight, I can develop that bishop. I'm not worried about that bishop. Um. Put my bishop here, then he can't castle because there's an immediate checkmate threat. I think knight first. 
Defends this central pawn. Don't know what you're doing there, Biff. Okay, I'm going to put my bishop here. The thing is, this square, there's the battery threatening mate. This square and this diagonal should be lined up with a king. I can always drop it back. Right, <clears throat> let's drop it back. So, okay. And this is a weakening, potentially. I can move with check. Oh. Let's kick the bishop away. All right then, that's interesting. So I've got a piece attacked and he's counterattacked. So the first thing I should be looking at is, well, can I counterattack again? Meaning that I'm attacking two pieces, he's attacking one. I can't really find a way right now. Um, that's attacked once, defended twice. Just go here, I think. Pinning this rook. Okay, and that drops the bishop. Fine. Okay, good result so far. Let's go. So I'd like, I want to get this bishop out. I think I should probably castle my king first before I do anything else. Okay, so he's, he's won the pawn. I'm going to trade down. Of course I am. Right, I really want to do this. Not a stupid bishop stuck in the way because this bishop's in the wrong place. How about Rook here? So now I'm threatening to take with the Bishop and then drop... What? Okay, right, checkmate threat, ah. Well, that avoids it, apparently. Okay, now the Bishop's coming in. Right, let's attack the queen. Grab the pawn. This is actually a fork. And I'm going to have your queen. This is okay, but... Right, he's got a windmill now. Okay, so he can come up and down. He can come back here. Oh, right. This forces a trade of rooks. What? <gasps> no, it was pinned. Cool. Hey, that was all right. Okay, next one. Zark Muckerberg. Well, I'm sure this will be a very interesting game. We'll go before again. We've got white again. Let's go Vienna again. What the hey? And semi copycat. Do we get the full cup? We do. All right then. And this is everyone's favorite gambit, the Mike Namesis gambit. And we have queen to there. I can trade off queens and then win an exchange, at least. I'm going to do it. Also messes up his pawns. I win a pawn here. I'm going to win the rook. Am I also going to escape? Looks like I am. So I'm plus six already. Oh, I said this Zuggerberg was uh, not the sharpest tool in the box. Okay. It's important not to get sucked into playing too quickly against bots. It's very tempting to do. Right, I want to make sure this knight can't be um, trapped in. He's got two squares right now. Technically three, but that's a very dangerous place to be. Here, getting my bishop off the back rank, which we know is a good thing, and this, I think, is a concession. Uh, okay, let's drop him back. Knight can come to here. That's fine. So I'm in a kind of blitzy mood. I'm going to castle long because I want to launch an attack against that bugger there. Right. Right out. What have we got? Uh, 
don't know if you can see that. It's absolute mayhem. <sighs> Pussy riot, that's what it is. Pussy riot. Okay, my knight might, might want to come round here. Um, I've got ideas now about attacking this rook. If I go there straight away, it can come down here. So let's just squish him. Let's push him right back into his box. Push him back here. I am unafraid. Bishop defends that. Goodbye, rookie. <sighs> rookie Balboa. I can always drop my bishop back if I need to. Okay, but we're, we're in a winning position because I've got the two rooks. So what I should be doing, I think Freddy needs to join in, don't you? Okay, knight back here again. Let's just throw... Eddie, Freddy, Gary and Harry are all now involved in the fun. Which is nice to see the boys back together. Um, go on, let's just peel open this king. Should probably have centralised my rook first. Pawns. Stuff. Stuff. Okay. So Muckerberg has just um, provided a wonderful example of what not to do when you're down in material, which is to trade off all your junk. Uh, so bishops under attack. I think I would just I'll defend with the rook because it improves my rook. Just moving my bishop back doesn't do anything, right? This allows him to improve his pawns, which he declines. Okay. Zucker Muppet. You want, I can't move that rook there because it's the only defender of this. So, let's do this straight away. I was going to pin it first. Um, and let's attack it again. Uh, I'd like to dislodge the knight. Let's throw that in. Because the knight's the second defender. Oh, did it the wrong way around there. That wasn't very clever. All right, we'll just simplify. Simplify! Uh, I can win the rook. Oh no, he comes here. Okay, let's come here then. Pretend to threaten that, but really, I just want to trade off the rook and win the game. There you go. I'll have that. Okay, I'm going to bring my rook in. I'm going to do this and this because I, I can force my way past now. And the king cannot venture. This pawn comes here, I come across. The king can't do nothing. Let's have a queen. Let's go queen here, cutting off this square. Okay, now he's got this square. Huh. Uh, let's remove the pawn. Okay. And we're getting into ladder mate territory now. He's got that. <clears throat> right, my queen's on the diagonal. Oh, look, checkmate. How about that? Accidental check. Oh, and we're white again. Am I just set to white? What's going on here? Right, melon husk. Go on then. Go on then. So I get quick development. There, if you push again, that's far too overextended, I think. Okay, I have a, only a dark squared bishop, so I'm gonna, my opponent has a light squared bishop. So at this point in the game, I want all my pawns on light squares. Develop. I am playing this blitz style, right? Pawns on light squares, like we just said, yeah. Means my bishop has the freedom of the city, whereas his bishop is hampered. Okay. I'm going to drop back. I'm going to tempt him to double push, double kick. Okay. Double kick drum. Boss drum. All right. He's really weakened his pawns already on this side. 
These pawns are very weak. They will be a, a target. Um, I'd love to play bishop there with a fork, but I can't. Can I get my queen onto here? Not in a hurry. I feel like f4 is going to be the break. So let's just continue our theme of putting everything on light squares. Then f4 is definitely an idea. Taking advantage of these weakened g and h pawns. f4. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't see that, did I? I did not see that. Right. I'm going to get to um, peel him open for his trouble. And I'm thinking knight here. Queen might come to there. He's two pawns up, equivalent of. Okay. Throw in a check. Oh, landed my queen. That was silly. Right, rematch. Let's do it. Right, what is this? What is this going on here? Because I'm, I'm going to grab... Well, I don't know what Melon's doing. Oh, this is the crab. Yeah. The crab variation. Right. Contest in the centre. I don't want to push F6. Let's develop a knight. I'd rather have a knight in the middle than not have a knight in the middle. Develop this bishop, develop this knight. Okay. Hmm. This is a real... Hang on, if I drop back here... I'm not trapped, I can go to there. I think I need to drop back here though, actually. Right, porn addict is what we have here. Um, queen d7, this pawn is now vulnerable. Okay. Now he's advanced pawns on both sides of the board, hasn't he? Um, so, I'm ready to castle. I feel like I should be opening things up. I don't like his pawn structure at all. I'm going to castle queenside, I think. Hang on. Hang on. Da, da. He's, he can't castle anywhere. Does this improve my bishop? Not really. There. And throw Freddy up. I, don't, I can't see him going either side of the board, to be honest. Um... Well, this is a mad bot. If I push h6, how can I prevent that? But I can allow him to push h6, I push, g, push g6, that's fine. So I don't have to worry. Okay, let us... See if he wants to keep pushing pawns even more. Honestly, it's a miracle I can even concentrate at all. And look, he's just undeveloped his knight. Okay, I think c5. He might capture on son. Okay. Right, I'm opening. I've got to open, open, open. His king's still in the middle of the board. Right, he's got bishop looking down at g7. Um, he's blocking the advance of my d-pawn. My knight's a bit... Can this knight come around here? Yeah. It's f6. Fine, whatever. Uh, yeah, I want to centralise my knights. Keep coming, you've got a nice square there where you can sit. F8, line up a major piece with the king. Recapture. Thank you, that's opened up the centre even more. Queen's looking down at nothing. Um, this could trade queens. I think first let's do that. Um, 
Now if I move and then that, yeah? Double defense is pawn. Okay. Nothing defends the bishop, so. Queen back. Here, threatening to take this pawn. Okay, we've defended it. That's interesting. Oh, if I go here, you've got two attackers on there. Right. God, they do find some good moves instantaneously, don't they? These bloody bots. Okay, that's got rid of the queen. Let's get rid of that pawn. All right. Hit me, baby. One more time. I think so. Good. Now I'm liking this. Notice if my knight moves, that bishop's pinned. I will have that. Thank you very much. Okay, and I'm thinking knight here. That's undefended. That's actually pinned and can't move. So he's just defended with the knight. That looks good. Just feels good. Okay. Now he's he's actually threatening mate in two moves there. Um, I'm going to capture here. Also defends that pawn. Okay. Um, also defends the pawn again if king takes. Right, now it's time for Queenie to become involved. This knight is pinned. Must be noted. So queen here. This knight can't move. Yes, I thought you might do that. I'm plus two materials right now. I have a check. Or I can trade off the queens. In which case, rook takes. And I am in a winning position. I've got one, two, three, four, five pawns. One, two, three, four, five pawns. I'm up in exchange. I've got a pair of rooks. Um, so he has to go here or here. Oh, no, Woody. That's the kitten's food. Right. Now, yeah. Hang on. He's got a mate, mate threat, hasn't he? Okay. That's not great. Because now I have this check. And I can take out his rook. And now there's no mate threat. And I've won his rook. Excellent. Now he must be clinical. Check. I could have won the queen. Mm. Anyway. Milon Husk. You are toast. Checkity doodle. Checkity day. Uh. One square, I think. What is the way? Check with the pawn. Uh, this is kind of clumsy. You see, he has one pawn move as well, so there's no immediate stalemate issue. If I come here, he's, he can still move the king. He can still move the pawn, technically, as well. So, um, what do we do? What's the, what's the way to finish here? I can't see it. I'm just being very clumsy. Here, and he can go there. And then I think that might be made. There we go. Lovely. Right, the final one. Jill Bates. Bet she does. Right. <sighs> okay, normal. Freddy Krueger. Italian, go Russo. Good move. And I believe... Uh, Russo, Russo, Russo. I think it's that one. They're all slightly different. Um...
If I take it brings the queen out, I win this, queen takes, check. Otherwise I allow him to take... Um, I think I'll just take the pawn. If it takes, I'll recapture with B. Okay. Oh, that was that was a that was a mouse slip. <sighs> okay. Right. The threat is this. The counter is this. Okay. I've got knight e7. Knight g e7 hits the queen. But that pawn is uh, vulnerable. Oh, I didn't mean to mouse it there, that was annoying. So, playing 1500 level, this is my bread and butter. That knight's pinned because of the rook. Maybe what I should... But queen for queen takes here. It means I'm not liking this. That, that kind of threatens to take the knight. Okay, bishop takes now. Queen can't come in there. Um, with that we've got queen takes here a check let's do let's have a checkmate threat of our own okay so that rook is now tied to the defense of that pawn there do I do this? no because it kind of loses the knight Queen here. Try and trade off the queens. It's defended three times that queen there. Still can't do that. It's really annoying that. So I think this and castles, eh? But no, because you've got mate there. Alright, off comes the queen. I'm a, I'm a pawn up still. Okay, now, now I can Fianchetto, and now I can castle. Okay, so we've given back the pawn, this is fine, I've got four and a two, he's got a three and a three. Rook there would be back rank mate. So I'm either thinking, I've also got discovery on the knight. So how about this move? I'm attacking the rook, I'm attacking the bishop, I'm attacking the knight with the bishop, can he solve all of those problems at once? No. Well, maybe something like that. I don't know. Okay, I want to take his bishop off because of the state of the board. It's wide, wide open board. Um, I feel like doubling up my rooks. Or I feel like winning material. Sod it, let's win material. Pawn fork, ha ha! I have you now, Bond. Okay, well you're not having that pawn. No! No, you aren't. Right, I'm plus three. Let's trade off. This weakens my pawns, but I'm okay with that. Okay, and now I think rook here. The two rooks on there. Did you just win another pawn? Okay. Uh, let's push. Let's trade. Uh, this is playable because of the bishop. Uh, and let's have this one. Okay. I think I just want to get my king out of line. I might need this bishop to guard the promotion square here. Uh, that's a pawn. I can still play this at any time. Okay. Not the biggest fan of billionaires myself, has to be said. Okay, take the rook. Oh, hang on, here. Takey, takey, doesn't like he. Um... Right, creep forwards, creep forwards again. <clears throat> Here he's got rook takes, that doesn't really work. Let's grab that pawn. Let's 
come back behind the pawn. Always nice to be behind a passed pawn. And this should be a formality. Okay, he can't go there or there. He can go here to defend the pawn. Um, but time sinking. Off you go, Harry. Go on, Harry. Right, so I'm going to put pressure on this pawn. Harry is now a decoy in order for me to win this. And now... I uh, can't save Gary, so I'm going to attack that pawn instead. And now he literally can't get round me at all here. So either of these pawns could just waltz straight up. Off we go. Let's do two. Solved. Okay, well that was a load of fun. Um, managed to lose one game in the middle there. But um, yeah, interesting. Um, th this last one was the most realistic by far. The Elon Musk one was just whack. But uh, good for good for a laugh. So there you go. Bit of a billionaire bot bottom spanking speedrun. Lots of fun. Thanks for watching. See you soon.